I'm here today to do another tabletop review. We've got another piece of Victron kit here. We've got the uh, Victron Smart Shunt. It's the uh, 500 amp version. Let me get that up here so you can see. There we go. It's the 500 amp version, which is all I need for my uh, rig. So let's go ahead and take this out of the box and talk about why I picked up this new piece of hardware. All right, so here we go. Open in the box. We've got some nice set of instructions here on top that uh, give you the quick installation guide, battery safe warnings, a little bit of some pictures, QR code you can scan there to, I guess, take you to some ma uh, to the manual, show you information, and showing you the different type of connections you can do depending on what it is you're going to be connecting to. If you're going to do two batteries, you're going to do midpoint battery monitoring, uh, temperature sensor, connecting to a GX device, which is what I'm going to be doing. So anyway, I've got the nice set of instructions there you can work with. Uh, what else do we have in here? Well, it looks like we have a power cable uh, that comes in the box. And then the actual, oh, another power cable here. Another one of those cables. So you can do two battery monitoring or yeah, I guess they're the same. Neither of them are a temperature sensor. So there we go. Box is empty. And then you have the actual smart shunt itself. We have another little QR code for being able to, I guess, scan and go read the directions. All right, so here it is. Here's the smart shunt. Uh, if you are familiar with the their battery monitors, the BMV series, BMV 700, 702, I think, 70, 712, BMV 712. This is actually functionality and features wise, basically the equivalent to the uh, BMV 712. Because the idea is uh, the BMV 712, where you've got the actual you know, battery monitor that's got the readout and everything on it, that has all the smarts and you plug that back into their shunt that has just a little board on the side that does basic monitoring. Well, what they've done with the smart shunt is they've taken all the smarts that were in that little battery monitor that's got the LCD display on it and everything, and they've put all of those here into that little box and attached it directly to the shunt. But you don't have a, an LCD. The idea is that if you don't need that little LCD display, you can connect to this directly via Bluetooth because it's got built-in Bluetooth. Or if you have a GX device, you can plug it into the GX device here with uh, the VE Direct port and you get all the same functionality without having to have that extra little battery monitor display. That's actually why I picked this up because as I'm updating my rig, I found that, you know, that battery monitor is awesome. I love the features and functionality, but I don't need the actual battery monitor display. It just sits down in the corner in the, in the front bay. It's not even mounted anywhere. And for me, convenience wise, it's actually better to use the smart shut here uh, than it is to have that battery monitor. So that's the idea. That's the reason why I um, got this to replace it is that because I use a GX device, the, the Serbo GX and GX Touch 50 now, this is exactly what uh, I need to have. So the goal here is I'm just going to go out to my rig. I'm going to unhook the existing shunt and take this and just plug it right back in its place. Um, it looks like though the only downside is the shunt for the BMV 712. If you look at my uh, layout, I've, I've got in my trailer up here at the top. This is the would be the Lynx distribution panel, and then the batteries would be like over here. And the way it works on mine is I've got the power coming from the batteries and then from the batteries into the Lynx distribution. Well, if you notice, this is um, just opposite. I will need to turn it this direction because this says two system and two battery. Uh, the BMV 712 shunt, it has all of its plugs on this side. 
so all my wires come in this side. I think that's going to be the only disadvantage is I'll have to turn this thing around and run my wires around the other way to get to like the um, VE direct port and the uh, power for the battery. It's not a problem. I don't think. Um, I, I may have to move things just a little bit because in my system I've got the uh, uh, multi plus a uh, multi plus like right here so I may not actually have enough room to put this up so when I install it I may need to move it just slightly and hopefully I have enough room and enough slack on, on the cables there to get it to work so anyway that is just quick unboxing and um, quick review of the Victron smart shunt the idea here is same features and functionality of your BMV 712 without the display. You can connect to it directly via Bluetooth on your phone or you can plug it into a GX device and get the same battery monitoring functionality that you get from the BMV series. So there we go. Looking forward to getting this thing installed and uh, you'll probably see this in a future video where I talk about um, how it got installed and, and how it's working. So. Thanks for uh, stopping by and checking this out.